Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see how to teach what are ordinal numbers to class 1. And ordinal numbers comes under the number concepts. To begin with, let us see what are all the learning outcomes in class 1 under the number concepts. The first learning outcome is 1 to 100 numbers and number names in series. There are a couple of topics which you will be reading under them. They are after numbers, before numbers, between numbers, missing numbers in a series and number line concepts. The next learning outcome is place value concepts. As in class 1 we will be dealing with 2 digit numbers. We will learn about the place values 1s and 10s. We will also learn how to write them in expanded form and short form. The next learning outcome is comparing two digit numbers and under this we will be learning how to identify the smallest number, greatest number, compare the numbers using the symbols greater than, less than and equal to and also write numbers from small to big and big to small. Dear viewers, if you are here for the first time, in my introduction to PMCE channel video, I have very clearly explained about the learning outcomes in class 1 under the concept numbers. In that video, I have also clearly shown the evolution of the concept numbers from class 1 to class 5. The link for the video is provided below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Each of these learning outcomes are covered in separate videos and the links to those videos are also provided below in the description box and also in the iCard section. In this video, we are going to see about the learning outcome ordinal numbers. Let us go into the details of this video. So what are ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers are numbers that are used to tell the position of objects such as first, second, third, etc. In real life situations also, we do use these terms first, second and third. For example, when we conduct race for children, we do declare the first position, second position and third position and these indicate the position of the children in the race. So let us see how these ordinal numbers are represented in numerals. It is represented by, first is represented by a 1 with a st. Second is represented with a 2 followed by a nd. Third position is represented by a 3 followed by a rd and so on. Let us go into details to see how each of these numerals are represented. It is very important to teach the concept of ordinal numbers very clearly in class 1 because this concept travels with children throughout their higher classes. So first let us start with the number 1. So the first position is indicated by the number name FIRST first and in numeral it is written as 1 followed by a ST. The next one is second. S E C O N D second and in numeral it is written as a 2 followed by a N D. The next position is third T H I R D third. It is written as 3 followed by a R D. If you notice all the last two alphabets are taken and represented over here. The next number is fourth. F O U R T H, fourth. It is represented by a 4 followed by a T H. The next one is fifth. F I F T H, fifth. And the numeral representation is a 5 followed by the T H. The next ordinal number is sixth. S I X T H. Numerical representation is 6 followed by a T H. The next ordinal number is 7th, S-E-V-E-N-T-H, 7th and in numeral it is 7 followed by her T-H. The next ordinal number is 8th, E-I-G-H-T-H, 8th and numeral representation is 8 followed by a T-H. The next number is 9th, N -I -N -T -H. TH 9th and the numeral representation is 9 followed by a TH and the last number is 10th T E N 
th. Tenth and the numeral representation is 1, 0, 10 followed by a th. If you notice, it is almost similar to the numbers 1, 2, 10, but a few variations here and there in the number name. Dear viewers, I have included several activities in this video to make the concept of ordinal numbers easy for the children. So stay with me till the end of this video. So here I have given pictures of five objects. What are they? It's an apple, grapes, orange, kite and sun. Here I'll be giving few sentences and you'll have to fill in the blank. An orange is in the dash position. Let us count the position of orange. This is first, second, third. So the answer is third position. Next question. The sun is in the dash position. Where is the sun? It is in the one, first, second, third, fourth, fifth position. So the answer is the sun is in the fifth position. So before doing such activities, it is essential that the children are thorough with the spellings of the ordinal numbers from 1st to 10th. And then once these kind of activities are included, it will become very easy for the child to get memorized with the ordinal number concepts. Let us move on to the next question. An apple is in the dash position. Apple is in the first position. F-I-R-S-T. First position. Next question. The grapes are in the dash position. So let us look out for the grapes. The grapes are in the first, second, second position. And the last question. The kite is in the dash position. Let us count the position of the kite. First, second, third, fourth. F-O-U-R-T-H. Fourth position. These kind of activities help the child to first identify the object and also identify the position. Let us move on to the next type of activity. Here I have given six objects and I have also mentioned the ordinal positions near the objects. So observe these first and answer the questions that follow. A car is in the dash position. The car is in the fifth position. I have given it in the numeral. You will have to write it in the number name format. So a car is in the F-I-F-T-H fifth position. A dash is in the third position. Which is the third position? This is the first, second, third. This is the numeral for third. And what do we have in the third position? It is a pumpkin. So a dash is in the third position. The answer is a pumpkin is in the third position. Dear teachers and parents, it is very important to give such variety of questions for the children to think and answer. I have tried to include a few of them. You may include many more such questions during your testing. A cake is in the dash position. Where is the cake? A cake is in the first position. So what is the number name for this numeral? F-I-R-S-T. First position. Next question is, a dash is in the sixth position. Where is the number sixth position over here? First, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. In the sixth position we have a pen. A dash is in the sixth position. A pen is in the sixth position. Next question is, a mango is in the dash position. Where is the mango? The mango is in the second position. What is the spelling for second? S-E-C-O-N-D, second position. The last question is, a cap is in the dash position. It is in the fourth position. F-O-U-R-T-H. Hope you enjoyed this activity. Let us move on to the next session. 
Here it is a coloring activity. We have been given with six boxes over here. The instructions will appear here and the corresponding coloring should be done. Let's begin. First box to be colored red. Which is the first box? This is the first box. It should be colored with red color. Next instruction is fifth box orange. Which is the fifth box? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth box is colored with orange. Next question is second box to be colored yellow. Which is the second box? First, second. Color it with yellow. Next question is Fourth box to be colored green. Which is the fourth box? First, second, third, fourth. Fourth box to be colored with green. Sixth box to be colored with white. Let us count for the sixth box now. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. The sixth box should be colored white. And the last question is, the third box should be colored with blue. So, which is the third box? First, second, third. This is the third box which is to be colored with blue. This activity is very interesting for the children because first it teaches you about the ordinal numbers. It helps you to identify the color and give the corresponding color as per the instruction given over here. Let us do one more interesting activity for ordinal numbers. This is with respect to the days in a week. How many days are there in a week? We have 7 days in a week. What are they? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There are several questions with respect to ordinal numbers that can be framed with, for using the days in a week. Shall we do them now? Which is the second day? So the child has to go through all this, find out the second day and write the answer to be Tuesday. Which is the seventh day? Seventh day is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. The seventh day is Sunday. What is the first day? The answer is Monday. Next question. What is the third day? First, second and third day is Wednesday. And the last question in this activity is what is the fourth day? First, second, third and the fourth day is Thursday. We could do similar kind of activity for the months in a year. We have 12 months in a year and we could frame questions in that also for ordinal numbers. Dear viewers, hope you enjoyed doing all the activities with respect to ordinal numbers and hope it helped to teach you how to convey the concept of ordinal numbers to children. With that, we complete this topic, learning outcome ordinal numbers for class 1 under the number concepts. As I told you in the beginning, all the learning outcomes are covered in separate videos and links to the related videos are provided below in the description box. Now dear viewers, if you like the content of my video, click the subscribe button which is there in the screen or at the bottom of the screen and then do not forget to tap on the bell button and select the all option for notifications of all the updates that I make in my channel. Give a thumbs up if you like the content and share it with your friends. Do provide your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video and I'll meet you in the next session with more such useful and informative content. Thank you.